What's going on guys? We are back here with the second one for the day, man. We're at a different location, as you can see by the surroundings. And we're doing yet another fast food Friday for you guys. We're recording two in the same day because I talked. I thought to myself earlier, you know, when I was making the other one, I said, you know, I said, why shouldn't they get two this month? And I said, okay. Well, I skipped a week, so why shouldn't they get three this month? So now, now because I skipped a week last week, y'all are getting three, not two. I held up two, not two, three. We're getting three this month. We're gonna do one this week, one next week, one the next week after. So we're gonna get three in. We're gonna get three in. I know there's uh, there's a lot of uh, stuff. I, I'm we're actually gonna get three this. We got one the first week, and then now we're doing the next two Fridays. So anyway. We are today, I, this one, I've been kind of excited for this video ever since I seen the commercial for it. And I also haven't seen a whole lot of people do this video or do a review on this restaurant a whole lot. It's kind of like Arby's. Where no one really does reviews on their food. So it's, it's like a... You know, the people that do the, the food reviews are like the big five type, you know, places. McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, Taco Bell, KFC. Uh, most of them are the big fives. So I, on the other hand, I think that every fast food joint or quick service restaurant qualifies for reviews. And today we're eating fresh. And of course, by the jingle, you already know what we're doing. We're doing Subway. Subway is a real, it's a favorite, uh, not a, well, yeah, it's a favorite of mine if you go to a good Subway. I love Subway. And today, for Subway, we're also drinking a Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. I have a Doritos and a bag in the back so I didn't get a meal. They didn't give me a receipt either. Um, I don't know why they didn't. This sandwich was $10. That's that's why no one does Subway right there. $10 for this sandwich. And it is their new. They're new. It's been a while since Subway's done a new sandwich too. So we got the new. Oh, losing the pepper. We got the new. I am making a mess. Buffalo chicken. Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Chicken. I got onions, bell peppers, tomato, ranch dressing. Or you can see the chicken on the end there. So let's get into it. Let's diagnose this. Let's review it. Get my bell pepper back on there. I don't want him to go anywhere. Let's see. I, lo I wanted to do this this one ever since I've seen it on TV they have this one and they have barbecue chicken so in the comments below if you don't like spicy foods and you want me to do the barbecue chicken let me know in the comments and I'll go do the I'll go back to Subway in a future episode and do the barbecue chicken um but if you like spicy food, if you like buffalo chicken, this is pretty good. Um, I got peppers, or bell peppers, tomato and onion, and ranch dressing. And the reason why that is, is like usually when I go to Subway, I get like mostly every vegetable I have. I have a wet spot on my shirt. I spilled earlier when I did the McDonald's one, so I took a little Clorox wipe and wiped my shirt off, and now I got a big wet spot, so it looks like I drooled on myself, but I didn't. Anyway, um, if you like buffalo chicken, you'd like, you'd, I mean, you're gonna like this sandwich. I got Italian urban cheese and I got toasted. I always get toasted at Subway. I also did provolone cheese instead of uh, the pepper jack cheese because I figured with the 
buffalo chicken that she put a lot of sauce too so I didn't do the, do the black pepper jack cheese because I figured then it would overpower everything and you wouldn't be able to taste nothing but pepper. Mm. It's a good sandwich. I mean, it, it's it's their strip chicken, the same the same chicken they make the uh, sweet onion uh, teriyaki out of, the same one they make the barbecue out of. Same one they make the chicken bacon ranch out of. The only thing about the sandwich that Subway is not doing, and I don't know if it's all locations or just this location, and I went to the Subway across from KU Med Center and uh, in Kansas City. And let me know in the comments below if you know or if you work for Subway. Uh, this one didn't have a blue cheese dressing. And to me, a hot wing, it's a hot wing sandwich, essentially. Um, it should have blue cheese uh, with um, the, the buffalo sauce. Blue cheese, the tanginess of the blue cheese and the buffalo sauce plays together so well. I got ranch. I mean, it's good. It's the same Frank's Red Hot Sauce for Buffalo Wings that you buy at the grocery store. So in theory, anybody that has a microwave at home could make this sandwich. Um, you just get a uh, a long, like I t this is Italian urban cheese bread, but you just got like a long, like sub loaf at Walmart. Some grilled chicken out of the freezer section, some Frank's buffalo wing sauce, and tomatoes and onions, and you can make your own at home. And it would probably be better than this, oddly enough. Um, Subway. I don't know. I love Subway because I mean I don't love it's one of, I like it. It's not that I don't love it. It's not like I eat at Subway all the time. But I do like Subway when we go to Subway. I do like it. The barbecue one probably would have been better. <laughs> I tell you why. The hot sauce that they put on it, I think is a dumbed down version of it, of the hot sauce. Or maybe a watered down version. It doesn't have the kick, the, the, the saucy kick that, that ones do if you buy it at the store. You know. Or maybe she didn't put enough. I don't know, but we're making a mess. We're eating over the napkin. Maybe I shouldn't have got the ranch. Because there's a decent amount of ranch on there and it, it kind of overpowers everything. But well, that's the thing about Subway, you know, you can you can go in your Subway and you can order out of the sandwich. And you can have it done any way you want. If you don't like tomatoes, don't put tomatoes on it. If you don't like lettuce, don't put lettuce on it. You know? That's the thing about Subway, man. You don't have to... Uh, oh, 
rusty, and they're not old, they're just wadded up. Napkins here in the glove box. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, that's the thing about Subway. That's a lot of the reasons why people like Subway. And then there's a lot of reasons why people don't like Subway. One, a little tiny I mean, it's a foot-long sandwich. So that's a lot of food, but it's not, if you think about it. It's mo mainly bread. And so, excuse me, for them to have this sandwich, which is good, but the idea of this sandwich costing ten dollars um, with tax is a little bit uh, a little bit much, and um, I think that's a lot of reasons why people don't do the uh, the subway reviews because it's pricey. Oh, excuse me. But for me, I don't do this stuff to make a profit. I don't get paid. So I seen something on TV that I wanted to do because I thought it would be something interesting and not a whole lot of people do subway reviews. And I jumped up and said, let's do it. And so that's what we did. Um, with the same way with the McDonald's review, you know, everybody did the, you know, Travis Scott meal. Everybody did the, whatever the Jamaican guy's name was, Javar or whatever, or Javelin or whatever his name is. I didn't know. I don't know who he is. Everybody did it. And I'm sitting there going, well, everybody does these, but no one does the Arby's stuff, which I did the Philly cheesesteak, spicy cheesesteak. And no one ever does Subway stuff, so I was like, "Well, let's let's be an innovator. Let's let's do that." So after the McDonald's one that I did last, which I took Dame Drop's idea and did just what I ordered usually, and then now I'm doing the Subway one today, and also today, and um, it stopped raining. By the way, it's not on the side of town. It's not raining. Anyway, whatever. But we are. You know, just, just doing different stuff here. And if you like it, let me know. If you like the uh, different content, you know, Arby's, Subway, uh, Cane's, uh, Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers is another one I want to try. No one ever does reviews on them. No one really does reviews on Chick-fil-A either. Everybody does Popeye's, but no one does Chick-fil-A. It's a really good sandwich. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it, all the all the flavors that I put on it was kind of out of my culinary brain. There was like, if I got buffalo chicken, what would play well with it? So I was like, well, tomato sauce. Tomatoes would play well with it because they're light flavored and it's tomatoey. So so it's the buffalo sauce. Onions, of course, because onions go on everything, and then bell peppers because it's, you know, buffalo chicken and a little peppery taste. So, it plays well together. It really does. So, if you want my version, my version, version, I can't talk, sorry, of the buffalo chicken sandwich from Subway, get it with bell peppers, tomato, and onions, and ranch dressing. Um... I put the ranch dressing on there just to kind of kill down the everything. Like I said, I wish they had blue cheese, but they didn't, unfortunately. If you take the chicken by itself,
it doesn't I don't know Subway's chicken has always tasted like fake to me anyway It's more like a uh, pre-made fajita meat, if you will. It's kind of what I get out of Subway's chicken. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's just simple. You know. It's pretty good. I mean, is it the best food I've had in, like, in a long time? No, not by any means. Um, but is it, a, is it a, a good bite that fills you up? And it's probably better than McDonald's for you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, that's the other thing about Subway. If you're a little bit more health conscious, conscious about you know, the stuff that you eat, and a lot of people are, Subway is not fried, not messy, not, well, it's messy, but I mean, not fried, not greasy. And so it's a good alternative to like, like, like you know, McDonald's french fries or whatever. They don't have like sides though. They give you potato chips, which aren't good for you really. I mean, I guess Doritos aren't bad. They're not fried either, I don't believe. There they are. <laughs> mm. I know how to make a mess. Mm. With all the sauce on there. Dripping out. Every which direction you can go. <laughs> go <on. laughs> Get one. Make another wet spot on my shirt because I dribbled on myself. Alright man, here's what leaked out of it. <laughs> Got that dressing on there. But no, let's uh let's take a couple minutes to talk about it. And uh give me your thought I'll give you your, my thoughts on it. And if you've tried it in the comments below, give me your thoughts on it. After I knock out this Mountain Dew, because a lot of bread. Oh boy. Anyway. Um, so. Subway spicy chicken or buffalo chicken, I guess if you would. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's spicy chicken if you would, but Frank's Subway's Frank's red hot whatever sauce. Frank's hot sauce, buffalo chicken. Would I, you know, if I'm giving it a rating, like one through five, like we do every time we eat something, um, or every time we review something, rather, I would give it a three and a half or a four. Is it the best sandwich I've had in a long time? No. Not, not by any stretch of anybody's imagination is it the best sandwich I've eaten anywhere for the last like six months. There's no way. It's about middle of the road. Um, it's what it is. It's, it really is what it is. It's, it's a, 
a sandwich that you can get in two configurations, either a foot long if you're hungry or a six inch if you're not. I should have got the six because I already ate and I didn't really need to tell thing, but whatever. But we, we blew off the whole diet thing for two videos today, so whatever. Um, well, you know, I just don't know. I, I would say that maybe go try the six inch one, unless you really want the foot long one. But if I gotta say something to Subway, If I gotta say something to Subway, you've got to knock down the price, man. Like, that is the reason why people don't really, like, Subway is Subway, and people go there because it's healthy. And I understand the fact that healthier options are more expensive, and it's fresh vegetables, and it's fresh. But at the end of the day, Subway, you've got processed chicken you've got sauce and fresh vegetables and good bread now that's one thing Subway's got going for it Subway's bread and cookies I should have got a cookie are fire they're they're on it all the bread is wonderful they got so many options you just regular white wheat Italian three cheese herb you got you got so many options with cheese at subway it's ridiculous and that's one thing that subway does that no one else does is the fresh so many options in the bread you can get flat bread you can get all these different things and that is great however does it justify a $12 price tag for a sandwich. No, no, um, no. If you take Subway sandwich, that sandwich that I just ate, or any of their premium footlong sandwiches, which by premium I mean the ones that cost like $7, $8, not them. Anything but, the, okay, so let me change that. If you go to Subway and get any of their premium sandwiches, and by premium I mean, I'm rephrasing, the non-everyday, like the meatball and stuff that you that you could get used to be able to get for five dollars, any of the other ones like the steak and cheese, all those higher ones, I consider a premium sandwich at Subway. You need to bring it with more meat. If you're going to charge me twelve dollars or ten dollars for it, you know I understand tax and tips and, and that's I get it. You don't have to bring it though. You don't have to bring it. Like one hundred percent, you don't have to get it more because you're not up there to the point where you can charge for that amount of food without a meal. I didn't get a meal. I just got the sandwich. Now if I had got a meal with the drink, the large drink. In the little baggie of chips, ten dollars, great, I get it. But for just the sandwich by itself, ten bucks out the door, twelve after you throw the lady a dollar that made it, and you pay tax, you're out the door at, for twelve fifty. It's just not worth it. Now, the food itself, good. If you want to try it, go try it. The sandwich is great. Um, I suggest maybe not toasting it. That was one of the other things. The toasted bread made it a little, it just, the texture was off. I, I thought that for a hot wing sandwich, if you will, it would have been better on just plain bread. It, the toasted, it made it crunchy and it threw the texture off and it just, I should just regular. Other than that, uh, three and a half, four, all day long, um, decent food, healthier options, way less calories than McDonald's or Sonic, whatever. But anyway, that is the review of the Subway sandwich, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below where 
do you want me to try? I really, I, I put this out there all the time and sometimes I get a comment being like, hey, you should do this or hey, you should do that. And uh, it helps me pick where, you know, where to eat because I travel for, for a living. This is what I do. I, I drive this van. So I'm in a different location every day. Like today, I'm in Kansas City. Tomorrow, I may be in Wichita or Missouri or wherever. I could be in Joplin, Wichita, wherever. Oklahoma, for that even. I can go anywhere. So, if you know of a place that just like got something out and I missed it, and you're like, hey, man, you ought to head over. All right, guys, we're back here. I apologize about that. Um, quick little side note if you have one of these lumix cameras or plan on buying it because i did the review on it and it's really a good camera don't buy these little garbage battery packs off amazon for 20 bucks because they're complete trash and even though they are an amazon reviewed tested item they are a 1200 milliamp battery and you're supposed to get like eight hours of battery life out of them and you get like an hour out of them and they're complete trash the only thing that was good about these little batteries is it came with the little charger that I used to charge the actual battery that came with the camera which is great but other than that these batteries are just garbage so <laughs> don't buy them um, I'm gonna get order some new ones I guess I'll order some new different ones and see if I can get longer battery life out of these ones but these are be in premiums for the Panasonic and they're supposed to be 1200 milliamp hours the battery that came with the camera is 800 milliamp hours and the battery that came with the camera lasts twice as long as this so buyer beware bro buyer we beware but anyway um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video um, but if you uh, liked my review on the subway sandwich sorry I'm down here putting my batteries back um, if you liked my review on the Subway sandwich, um, hit that thumbs up button, share this video, hit the subscribe for more. If you want to check out some of the gaming videos that I do, go back in the channel and check those out. If you want to check out the other food reviews, it will be in the playlist with this food review, Fast Food Friday. Tongue twisting myself all up today. Anyway, this is already almost a 30 minute video, so I'm going to hop off here and I'm going to go ahead and sit here and wait and I'm gonna finish this Mountain Dew and then I'm gonna have this Mountain Dew because these are uh, two for three at your quick trip and your jump starts so get those up two for three fifty two for three fifty ah, love it hit the new sugar free man I love the sugar free I told you I was gonna start drinking this oh, my phone all the time anyway so, anyway, we'll see you all next time, guys. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. We'll catch y'all next Fast Food Friday. Keep your eye out on the channel. Might be doing another one. We never know. We'll see y'all later, guys. Thank you for watching, and later. Bye.